Hey guys, last weekend I competed at the RSL at the Armory event, which was an official MRCA qualifier for both Antweights and Beetles. I brought two bots to this event, which were Entity and Something. Today we are going to be focusing on Something and its performance at that event. So overall I was pretty happy with how Something did at its last event. There was a lot of positives on the bot, I felt that it was hitting pretty hard, the weapon and drive was overall very reliable, however there were a couple pretty major flaws on the bot that got exposed, and those are that it, it was kind of just a slower bot, it couldn't really turn that well, and when it got flipped over it literally could not do anything, like once it got flipped over it was completely stuck, and uh, I knew for sure that that was something that I had to fix for this next version. Going from V4 to V5, I made every single dimension on the bot smaller. So because of that, I was able to put a lot more weight into the armor and make it an overall sturdier bot. I also changed my plan with self-writing in that I would now just be using my weapon to self-write. The ears are so short that the weapon now contacts the ground. Looking at V5, it's kind of funny to think that this is the same bot as V1 because this bot used to look very off meta and now it looks like every single other four wheel drive vert so I think for V6 I'm going to take it in a completely different direction but that's something for the future. Due to the low amount of beetle signups we ended up running a round robin tournament which is basically where you just fight every other competitor once. My first opponent of the day was very powerful I have fought them in the past and I know them to be a very strong vertical spinner with a very fast drivetrain. So this being the new version of something's first fight, I was very nervous for this fight and I kind of had a feeling that I'd be getting destroyed. Ready to go, so we're going to start this fight in 3, 2, 1, go! Both fights, bots coming out, uh, looks like very powerful judge to the side, gets onto the side of something, something trying to keep its weapon forward. Looks like Very Powerful may have the maneuverability advantage as far as speed, but something's doing very good keeping its bot pointed the right direction. That was a good shove by Very Powerful, sending something up onto the wall. But it looks like Very Powerful has now uh, inverted itself and is running itself around the arena using its weapon as a wheel. Something is on the chase. Looks like it may have lost one of those forts on the front. Those are usually knocked off, but are designed to help get the other bots up onto the weapon of something. Both these bots want to knock the other bot up using their powerful front weapons. A nice hit from Very Powerful sends something up into the corner. Uh, not wanting to wait for it to see if it was stuck, so Very Powerful just goes for another hit, uh, knocking something down. Something continues to fight, gets right back into it. One minute remaining on the clock. Looks like, oh, something is, comes back alive there after holding itself for a second. Very powerful spinning weapon is uh, definitely giving it some maneuverability issues, but it's doing just fine. And it looks like it lost a wheel, but it, <laughs> it has still charging around the arena. It wants to get some good hits in. Something looks like it's struggling. It's inverted right now, but it's uh, still doing as well. Ooh, that hit was so hard on the wall that it knocked the camera for a second. Oh, another one there. Some something is doing its best to keep its weapons forward, but very powerful is not relenting here. The pit's about to open here at the 22nd mark. Oh, another good flip there from Very Powerful, but it has managed to invert itself with its maneuverability. It's in a very dangerous spot. Something is not showing. Oh, there it is. Comes back to life. Oh, oh, another good hit. Trying to get in the pit. 10 seconds remaining. It looks like somebody lost a belt. Oh, 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 there we go. Very Powerful manages to get something into the pit. That's going to be a knockout win for Fairy Powerful. So that was a rough fight for something. Every head-to-head -head collision, Fairy Powerful was winning. Their weapon just seemed to be getting better bite than mine. And for whatever reason, I was having these strange issues with my drive and my weapon just cutting out. Sadly, this is going to be a pretty common thing for the rest of the day, as despite changing out things in the bot, I could not fix any of these issues. My next fight of the day was against a finger tech beater bar called Skippy. Skippy has some nice beefy foamy wheels so of course I was going to try and aim for those if my drive issues would allow it. I believe I got my weapon issues fixed at this point so my weapon would be working for the rest of the day, however the drive issues persisted. 
right, something has that vertical spinner. And you can see Skippy has repaired that big gold beater right there with that egg beater. Oh, and has already slammed something into the corner. What is something going to do? All right, so Skippy trying to maneuver around, but can he get that weapon rolling and back into something? All right, looks like something is the one skipping around the arena while Skippy is just trying to catch up and get that beater right into him, into the corner. All right, it's spinning, and looks like something is trying to find and beat their way out of there, but Skippy is rolling out, but that big weapon has slowed down on Skippy. All right, Skippy has taken some damage on the wheels there, and something is now taking control, pushing Skippy back into the corner with that big vertical disc plowing into Skippy, and boom, oh my gosh, Skippy has lost a wheel. Uh, looks like Skippy's gonna have to skip around the arena on one foot now, and something is making something for sure out of Skippy. All right, with that big vertical disc, we're gonna see what something can do, driving, trying to position, moving around, Skippy, who is just trying to be a little defensive, trying to get that beater in front of something to provide some defense. But it looks like that weapon is down now on Skippy. All right, so now something is just trying to keep him into the corner. That could be the pit in the future. So if he can keep Skippy in that corner, that could be the automatic knockout here. But something now has to watch themselves. It's got four seconds, two. One, looks like that pit is opening up, and they have both gotten away, but looks like something is still trying to push Skippy away, but they've got to be careful. That's close. Something is getting there, and there you go. Skippy skips into the pit, and that's a win for something. That is something. So, sadly, those drive issues continued to plague me during this fight, but despite that, it turned out to be a decent fight. I ended up pulling off a wheel and getting some good shots on the other wheel, I somehow knocked out their weapon. I think they accidentally ran the weapon belt into me. And um, then I ended up uh, put, pushing them into the pit to kind of end off that fight. My next fight of the day was against a D2 kit called the Trooper. I fought the Trooper multiple times in the past and I feel like every single time that we fight it's always a very entertaining fight to watch. So I was very excited for this one. This battle will start in three. Two, one, go! You can hear uh, something spin up there. Trooper trying to keep its wedge towards something, try to protect those wheels. Trooper using its mobility and traction to get something up against the wall. All right, releases the pin. They both reset back out to center. Oh, Trooper gets another good shove, throws something into the corner. Something trying to get its spin up back up, but uh, unfortunately is on top of Trooper. Uh, is unable to hit it from there. Ooh, some sparks fly as something hits the wedge. Into the other wall. Trooper continuing to push something around. Once again into the wall. That wedge really giving some trouble to something. Something trying to get onto the sides. Oh, some good sparks there as its weapon does manage to collide with the wedge. Oh, and now it's thrown wedge weapon first into the wall. Trooper definitely doing a good job of keeping itself oriented the right way and shoving. Oh, and as I say that, there gets a good flip and something has now got a good hit on the trooper. It looks like the trooper's wedge is having a little bit more trouble now that it's inverted, allowing uh, something's weapon to get a little bit more bite, but it still has a lot of pushing power and pushes something over into the opposite corner. The, the pit will open in 10 seconds at the 20 second mark. Oh, it looks like something came off of something as the uh, trooper continues to try and push its way around. Both bots move back out to center. Neither one of them wants to accidentally fall in the pit. Trooper gets a good shove up against the wall for uh, something and probably will call this a last pin into the uh, end there. Oh, nope, releases the pin with a few seconds remaining. Oh, another good hit with only a couple seconds remaining, and that's time, time in the round. Good effort from both competitors. They get a little stuck together as they're making their way towards the exit. The fight ended up going to judge's decision, and the judges decided that Trooper won the fight, which I think was 100% the right call. 
Um, in that fight, I was once again having those drive issues, and I was also having issues with getting under their wedge. I tried to run one fork to aid in getting under that wedge, but for whatever reason during the fight, the fork was just like bouncing up and down into the air, so it might have even just caused more issues than good. Also, I have no idea why that wheel fell off. I think it's just because I didn't tighten down the wheel shaft all the way. But uh, after this fight, I believe I Loctited that one. But you guys will see, I probably should have Loctited at all of them after this fight. But oh well. Overall, a good fight with a lot of pretty sparks and a pretty entertaining fight. My next fight of the day was against a bot called Noctilucent. Noctilucent is a big wheeled bot with a pretty scary vertical spinning dual disc. Watching its fights from earlier in the day, it was getting a lot of really good shots on other opponents, so I was pretty nervous going into this one knowing that they could cause a lot of damage to my bot. Already, so we're going to start this fight in 3, 2, 1, go! Both bots spin up the weapon. Oh, big initial hit sending Noctilucent into the sky. It looks like it also inverted something, so both bots definitely took something from that first one. Both the bots are reorienting themselves now, spinning those weapons back up. Oh, a good hit on the wheels there uh, by something getting along to the side of Noctilucent. Looks like Noctilucent's weapon, it's hard to tell if it's spinning, but I definitely see that something's weapon is still spinning. Oh, you can see some debris there. Something looking like it might have some mobility issues. As Noct oh, there it goes, moving again. Noctilucent still, uh, <laughs> those big foam wheels, they can take a lot of damage before it matters. Not, not worrying about mobility over there. Oh, another good pop as uh, something gets a grip on some of the armor there. Looks like it may have knocked off the fishtail off of the back of uh, Noctilucent. That's going to make some of its navigation a little bit more difficult. Ooh, some more grinding away as uh, something gets underneath Noctilucent. Noctilucent trying to do its best to get its armor forward, but it seems like uh, it's unfortunately having some mobility issues compared to uh, something's a little bit more lower uh, drivetrain. Oh, you can see some sparks flying as uh, Noctilucent gets popped up on its side. It looks like it might have gotten stuck. Its wheel has lost so much stuff that it can't actually self right anymore. We have put the coin on its edge. And the countdown is going down. Oh, it's got a little sign of life. Can it do it? Oh no, there's the knockout. So that was a great fight for something. After one big hit at the start, Noctilucent ended up losing its weapon. And from there it was just uh, trying to disable them by taking out their wheels and seeing how much damage that I could cause. There ended up being an unbelievably insane amount of foam in the box. Like it was literally everywhere. I feel so bad for the person who had to clean up the box. My next fight of the day was against a terrifying horizontal spinner called Ataxia. I fought Ataxia in the past with something, and the last time he absolutely destroyed my bot, so I was really hoping to exact revenge, but either way, I knew that this would be a very entertaining fight. So this fight's gonna start in three, two, one, go! Both bots getting up their weapons. Ooh, good hit. Oh, they're immediately going weapon to weapon. Something, oh, gets a taxi into the corner, launches it into the sky, sending it all over the arena. A taxi is trying to buy some space so it can spin up its weapon of its own. Oh, there's a big hit on something. Sending that into the corner and inverted it. This is going to be sparks everywhere. A taxi uh, needing some space before it can spin its weapon back up. Something's got its weapon up. Both these bots took really big hits early on. Looks like something may have lost the mobility, but a taxi may have lost its weapon. We'll see where it goes from here. A taxi going in for a pop, but gets popped itself. Something's up against the wall, struggling to get some mobility. Oh, another hit there. Oh, that seems to knock something loose. Something comes back out from the wall. A taxi doing its best to continue to be aggressive while also pushing something onto the pit. It's saying if you can't move well, you better <laughs> figure it out soon because that pit's opening in 25 seconds. Ataxia corralling something onto the pit wall. 
38 seconds left in the fight and something's wheels decide they work again. Oh, never mind. Um, as it is now on the other side, a taxi gets to start all over. See if it can get it over there again. All right, a taxi getting the pin, pushing it backwards. You can see belts and pieces everywhere as these two bots have not been afraid to hit each other. A taxi is doing its best to be a, a push bot. Something getting a little bit of life there at the end just to get out of the way, but a few seconds left. Oh, that's time, time in the round. What a good fight. Both bots going up into the sky at different points. The first 20 seconds of that fight were absolutely insane, but I think after all of those big hits, both bots were kind of reeling. Ataxia had lost its weapon, and once again my drive issues were just being an extremely annoying. Big props to the driver of Ataxia for just ramming into my weapon and keeping that fight going. It was definitely one of my favorite fights of the day. Also, again, I have, I have no idea why that wheel fell off. They just like to fall off, I guess. I don't know. My last fight of the day was against Confidently Incorrect. Confidently Incorrect is a pretty scary dual disc vertical spinner with four wheel drive. I fought them in the past with Spectre and that ended up being a very entertaining fight. So I was hoping for something similar out of this one. Start in three, two, one, go. Oh, both bots, it, it looks like that first hit broke something. Not 100% sure what happened. So that was really anticlimactic. One big hit and my weapon belt fell off. So some fights just go like that. Oh well, at least I had a lot of other good fights throughout the day. Overall, that was a very strange event for something. Those weird gremlins with the drive were making it very hard to get a proper test on whether or not I liked this version of the bot. I think my current plan is to run this version at another event and just try my best to fix those electrical gremlins, just so I can get a proper idea of what I should upgrade or change next. As far as damage on the bot, there's not that much to be spoken of. Very Powerful got a nice hit on the top of the bot and was very close to causing damage to my electronics. There's a couple pretty big gouges on the front right upright, but aside from that there's not really any visible damage. That's gonna do it for this event recap. Something V5 will be back for another event and hopefully I can have it in better running condition. Hopefully I don't have those annoying electrical issues again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good one.